All right, classifying data example two. This time it's asking you to classify the following situations as nominal, ordinal, discrete, or continuous. As we spoke about previously, these are our sub-classifications. So we had our two classifications here, and then they had classifications within them. So we've got about four of them to look through. Let's see. Question A, the number of people inside a shopping center. So we know that's a, a number. For instance, I think we mentioned last time it was about 920 something, 921. And that number cannot really have a decimal. You don't have 921.56 people. And if we look back, um, discrete data was the one where you had a number of people, but it didn't go on forever. Okay, so this is discrete. Discrete data. The eye color of students in a classroom. So this was possibly blue, brown, and so on. So they're all lots of different colors, which tells me it's it's categorical, it's it's not a number, but it's also not ordinal. There's no order to the color of your eyes. It can be in any order, so we'll go with nominal data. Nominal data okay then the time it takes for people to run 100 meters so that could uh, be 13.2 seconds but it, it this decimal it can become more and more accurate with the more accurate measuring devices so it really could have been 13.20109 seconds and this decimal can go on forever and we spoke about that being continuous data continuous meaning forever so Where's my pen? I completely lost my pen. Okay. You probably can see it. I can't. Continuous data, right? And then last of all, the size of shirts, small, medium, large, extra large. Notice that there is an order to this, and that must mean it's ordinal data. 